What do all the most beautiful lawns, Major League Baseball fields, and golf courses have in common? Lawn stripes. And today, we're going to talk about how you can get beautiful stripes in your own lawn. First, let's talk about what lawn stripes are and how they're created. A lot of people think either it's two different types of grasses that give that look or it's being mowed at two different heights, but when in reality, all the grass is the same, it's being cut at the exact same height, but after the grass is cut, it's laid down in a certain direction. So bending the grass like that causes the light to reflect in a different way. Grass blades that are leaning toward you end up looking darker, and the ones that lean away from you end up looking lighter, and that's what gives that contrasted look. So there's different ways to get this done. Major League Baseball fields and golf courses cut the grass with what's called a cylinder mower or a reel mower. And that has a blade, a reel that spins, it cuts the grass, and then it runs it over with a roller and lays it down nice and smooth. That's what gives that contrast in color. The price on that, if you were to buy a cylinder mower brand new, even a walk behind, is about $12,000. A riding reel mower is going to cost you upwards of $25,000, $30,000. So that's not realistic for the average home buyer. You could buy a walk behind reel mower used if you wanted to, but still that's going to cost you around $1,500 to do that. So that's not the best option for most people. There's also things you can do, add-ons that you can put onto your own mower called striping kits. There's three main type of striping kits that you can buy online. The first one is made by Toro. The Toro striping kit on Amazon at the time of filming is $115. The second is called the Lawn Striper. The Lawn Striper goes for about $100 on Amazon. And the last is called the Checkmate Striping System. And again, that goes for about $100. Any of those can be added onto your existing mower. They're an add-on in the back, so after the grass is cut, that roller goes over the grass, it lays it down, and it gives that contrasting color that makes the lawn stripes. If you don't want to spend the money to buy a cylinder mower and you don't want to go with one of the $100 striping kits, you can actually make your own, which I've done, for about $15. And here's the things that you're going to need. First, you're going to need 3-inch PVC. I got mine at Home Depot. It was $5 for my PVC. You're also going to need what are called knockout end caps. Those go on the cap. They encapsulate the sand or pea gravel or whatever you're going to put inside your striper. And you're also going to need two eye bolts. With the eye bolts, you're going to have two lock nuts. The lock nuts are important because if you don't get lock nuts, those nuts are going to come loose and there's no way to get inside of the thing to tighten them up once you close it all together. Also, you're going to need two carabiners. That's it. That's all it takes and you can connect it onto your mower. I'll show you how I've done this on mine. So to start, we're going to take our PVC and we're going to measure between the back wheels of your mower. Standard mower is 21 or 22 inches. Mine is 21. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want that PVC to end up somewhere between both wheels. Next, you need to figure out where you're going to attach this to your mower. And in my case, there are two thick plastic parts on the back of my mower near where the bagger goes. And that's where I drilled two holes where I can put my carabiners that are going to attach onto the eye bolts that are connected to the lawn striper. On your PVC, you're going to drill two holes for your eye bolts to go into. And you're going to connect the lock nut to the eye bolt to connect it to the PVC. So I've got the eye bolt into the PVC. We've got a washer right here with that too. Make sure you put a washer on here. And then we just take our lock nut and that lock nut is going to secure it from the inside. Make sure you use a lock nut though. If you don't, a regular nut's probably going to come loose. So make sure you use a lock nut. All right, so the eye bolts are in the PVC. We've got the lock nut holding it into place right here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our end caps, our knockout end caps. I'll put one on with some super glue. I'll secure that into place. All 
Next, you're gonna fill up your PVC full of whatever it is you're gonna use to add weight to this. I use pea gravel because that's what we have on our beach, so I just go down to the beach and grab some pea gravel and fill it up. Once it's filled up with either pea gravel or sand or something that's gonna add some weight to that, you're gonna cap the other end using super glue. Once you get to that point, you're good to go. All you need to do is secure that using the carabiners through the eye bolts and you've got it attached. Backing up is a little bit less than ideal with this, so if you have to back up all the time, you might not always want to have your lawn striper on, but if you got company coming over, you want to make your lawn look really good, putting that lawn striper on is going to make your lawn really stand out. Even if you don't have the best grass in the world, if you use this lawn striper, it's going to make it look good. So, thanks so much for watching this video, I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.